Ironman returns to Sacramento with thousands of athletes set to storm the capital city. In just hours, road closures will begin before Sunday's event. Thanks for joining us here at 10. I'm Marley Ginter. And I'm Hunter Sowards. It is the third weekend in a row of events in the city after Golden Sky and, of course, Aftershock. This time, though, those road closures are going to be going into place starting at 8 in the morning right on the Capitol Mall. Your reporter covering Sacramento County, Madison Keevy, getting us ready for race day, and she's joining us live from Capitol Mall. Hi, Madison. Hi, Marley. You know, the empty temp tents here tonight will mark the finish line for thousands of triathletes come Sunday. But to get it all set up, that pump and circumstance, of course, cars aren't going to be able to go down Capitol Mall, at least between 5th and 9th, starting tomorrow morning. Sunday, thousands of triathletes will swim, cycle, and run their way through the capital city. The race starts with a nearly two and a half mile swim in the Sacramento River, then a 112 mile bike ride around the Delta, capped off with a full marathon before crossing the finish line at the capital. The action is days away, but the first closures start Thursday morning at eight. Here on Capitol Mall from 5th to 9th streets, closed through Monday afternoon. Some of the closures are near Discovery Park. That's where county officials say this year will look different. It's what athletes won't see on the course. We've been working probably for the last couple. That was 2022. The change this year, according to a spokesperson for Sacramento County Parks, there weren't as many encampments on the route as there have been. That meant no sweeps. It's the city's third time hosting the international race, the only one of its kind in California. A surprise to a first timer who says she'll be back. It was very lively and you have the old town, so it's, it's great, amazing. I love Sacramento. The wind already picking up tonight, very Sacramento here. Now, of course, the athletes might like the little cool down with the breeze, but let's look ahead, right? So these road closures will mostly start closer to the race. They're going to be nearest to old Sacramento, Midtown, downtown, and parts near Discovery Park where that race route is. If you haven't been, it is a, a great watch. And, of course, local leaders hope that it's going to be that third weekend that, acts that adds that economic boost to the area.